Well, we uh, we intentionally scheduled tough scrimmages and tough non-district games uh, to get us prepared for our district season. We talk about the different seasons within our season, which is the non-district, the district, and hopefully an opportunity to be in the playoffs. Uh, Cal is the state powerhouse. In fact, they're ranked in the top 20 in the state right now. So they gave us all we can handle and then some. Uh, but at the same time, we learned from, from that game, and we learned some of the things that we needed to correct and improve on. Uh, going against Hidalgo, uh, there was a lot of things that we felt we improved on at the same, same time. We still see, see things that we need to correct. We talk about trying to maximize our potential, and we feel that there's a lot more work ahead of us for us to reach our maximum potential. Defense, or defense, I should say. And that Tigers offense looks good here. Once again, Vela up the middle, breaks the tackle, still going to the five. And did he get in there? Looks like it. Yes! Touchdown! Mercedes Tigers. Oh, that was really exciting. We, you know, what we did is we disguised our coverage. He was able to come up and, and play the flats on that on that flood route. And uh, when he picked off that, I was real excited for him because it, I, we knew that was a difficult place to get to from where he started. He started as a safety and he kind of spun down and worked to the flats, and he was able to make that place. You know, so we. The defense was designed for him to cover that area. I just didn't know if he was going to be able to make it to that spot or not. And, and fortunate enough, he made that play. Yeah, we had some people that had some bright spots. Uh, DJ Sainz, our quarterback, threw a nice ball to Dylan Flores uh, for a touchdown late in the game. You know, and it, it, our intention wasn't to try to score late in the game, but we wanted our kids to develop because you never know when their numbers can be called on, whether it's injury or need or whatever the case should be. So we wanted to take that opportunity to develop as many people on that roster as possible. So that was a, a bright spot. We had a couple of young men on defense that stepped up and ran to the ball, ball goals as well. Quarter. Osana once again at fullback, Ruiz. In the back of the tailback, they'll pitch to him, looking for a block, but nope, nothing doing there. As the Tigers, nice job defensively. Oh, as every day goes by, as every week goes by, he starts to gain a lot more confidence. His teammates are getting more confidence in him as well, which is very important because not only do we believe in him as a coaching staff, but the, his, his teammates believe in him as, as a, a member of our team. If my team can believe in me, then I can do anything I want. Well, here they are with the ball at the one-yard line here. And Bressa's trying to add to the lead. Going to take the ball up the middle. And yes, sir, touchdown, Tigers. I'm working on uh, reading the coverage a little bit better with my defense. Because my defense right now, is, it helps me a lot. I improved a lot from Cal Allen to Hidalgo. And now I'm going to keep using my defense as a, a big help. First thing I do is go to the, the bench for a prayer. Everybody comes to me and tells me, I got this, baby. You got this. And motivates me. And then I'm going to the game. I gotta do good for my community, my town, my brother Isaiah Garza. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of issues not, not only on the field, but also at the same time with a lot of the emotion that we've gone through in the last month uh, with one of our team leaders and our team captain uh, going through this this situation right now. It's it's been tough, but he's been doing well, and every every week he continues to improve. And we always talk about trying to improve everybody on the team, and he's moving in, right in line with that concept. We are playing Laferia. It's a it's a county line bowl. We call it. It's a it's a it's a small rivalry, and uh, we, Laferia is a very good team with a lot of good athletes with a lot of experience coming back. If I'm not mistaken, they have something like 30 seniors. A majority of their offensive line is back. Uh, their quarterback is very athletic. Defensively, they run the ball well, uh, and I think they've been they feel that their strong point is their offensive line. All right, that's us. Keeps that's this me. one going. Breaking tackles. Great. Great lowering of the shoulder by Presas at the 40-yard line.